Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back, guys. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. It took me a minute to try and figure out how to even set it up again. So we are going to be mowing this grass here, or mowing this hay I should say, and then we might get into planting as well depending on how long it takes to get all this hay cut. How is everybody doing? I know it's been quite a while since I streamed. Hopefully everybody's doing alright. I can't even remember the last time I did a stream. It's been so long. Probably been at least like six months. And I updated my OBS studio so that I had to go and reset it all back up. I forgot how to even do a stream. I want to try and start streaming more often. At least like once a week. If not more than once a week. try and get a bigger mower. It takes quite a while to get this knocked out with this little mower. I think right now we have four hay fields that we need to cut. I'm thinking about putting more of my fields into hay as well. So it would be nice to eventually get somewhat of a bigger mower. But for now I guess this year we'll do. So how has everybody been? Like I said, it's been like six months since my last stream, if not longer than that. Hopefully everybody's still doing good. Let me know if you guys can hear me alright. My OBS studio, it did an update a while back and 
I haven't streamed in so long, I didn't even worry about setting up everything for streaming, so I don't know if you guys can even hear me or not. Hopefully you can. This ain't filled, and then two more to cut. We got that one right across the street there, and then there's one more right over there. So really two more across the street, and then this one getting knocked out. I actually just got done putting on in hydrus. We ran in hydrus all over our cornfields. This here is one of my personal game saves that I've just been messing around with a little bit. I haven't had really too much time to play, but whenever I get a chance, it's nice just to play. But I figured, since I haven't streamed in so long, and I didn't really have much going on tonight, I would go ahead and do a stream. How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's doing well. I hope that you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Let me actually pull up the stream real quick on my phone just to make sure my audio is coming through. Because like I said, I haven't done this in a while. I just want to make sure you guys are able to hear me. Can't pull this up real quick. Alright, yeah, the audio is coming through, but it's a little quiet. Let me go ahead and see if I can't turn up the audio just a hair. Maybe we'll turn down the game audio a little bit and then turn up my voice. Not sure if anybody actually wants to hear my voice or not, but... Oops. Oopsies. Hang on, give me a second, guys. So I wanted that around, yeah, about right there, and then we want to turn that to that. So now, yeah, all right. Almost just messed something up. Oh no! All right, that's much better. My game audio was coming through these headphones way too loud. That's much better now. Hey, Bread Gaming, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. Hey, hey Wolves, how's it going, buddy? It has been a while. I'm glad to see you popping in here. It has been a while. I don't know. I think my last stream was like six. Let me switch my laptop. All right. I think it's been like six months since I did a stream, honestly. It's been a while, if not longer. Definitely, it feels like it's been a long time. I can't even remember when the last time I did stream was.
Hey, Colby. How are you doing, buddy? It probably has been longer than six months, though, now that I think about it. The last stream I did was on, like, a Leo, Leon PA. That was a good bit ago. The last stream was 11 months. Oh, my. Yeah, it's definitely time for a stream, then. That's for sure. Jump out here and get this gate opened up. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm not too bad. I'm doing really well. Glad that you're doing well. Oops. It worked better if we turned on the mower. But yeah, I want to try and get back into streaming. Funny you streamed on the 20th of this month. Soon to be a year. Oh my. So what, we're like 18, 18 days away and it would have been a year? Is that what you're saying, Wolves? Been, I can't believe it's actually been that long. Holy cow. That's kind of crazy. I didn't even realize that it's been that long. I know it's been a while, but I didn't think it was that long. But yeah, I want to try and get back into streaming more. I miss streaming. Like maybe, I don't know, I might try and do maybe two streams a week. I've been good. Oh, you're an adult now. There you go. How does it feel being an adult? Or living the adult life, I should say. We hate it already. <laughs> uh, don't we all? I think everybody hates the adult life. It's not fun. All the kids can't wait to move out, but then when you move out, you're like, oh, shoot. Now I got all these bills to pay and got to work every day. It's just not fun. Um, what exactly are you referring to? Because I have a lot of IRL stuff going on. I've been pretty busy. So... I guess last time I streamed, it was like the garage and the shed and stuff like that. Is that what you're referring to? The sheds? Yeah. The sheds are both completely finished. I actually... I made a real-life video a couple... I don't know, probably a month ago. And it was cleaning out my grandfather's uh, garage back at the farm. And I showed off the shed in that video. Or the garage, I should say. It was the garage I showed off in that video. But yeah, all that work is done. I can't believe that's whenever the last time I streamed was. Because that was like last year. That's so crazy. Oh my. Time flies. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have been watching any of my real life content I've been putting out. But I actually plowed up part of a three acre field that my grandfather owns and here in a couple weeks I'm going to be putting sweet corn in it I got about 9,000 square feet a little bit more than that so it's it's not too big but it's not really small either it's a decent size so I'm going to be posting a lot of videos of that it does take a lot of Colorado nice how was it out there yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to be playing Sweet Corn, and I'm trying to get videos of that. I suck, though. I'm a terrible YouTuber. I always forget my camera and never record anything, but I've been trying to. There's a couple videos of me, like, plowing up the ground and doing some rototilling and whatnot. Cool, but very beautiful. Got a demon snow. Nice. It's cold up here, too, and it's been raining the past couple days. It's not very nice weather out. There a couple weeks ago, it was really nice out. It was up in, like, 
mid 70s but then it went back cold again I can't wait for it to get nice and stay nice it's not fun working outside in the cold and in the rain supposed to yeah we are supposed to get some storms as well I think I don't know about tonight it did rain pretty much most of the day today and rained pretty much most of the morning yesterday and then tomorrow they're calling for more rain but I haven't really looked at the weather yet to see exactly when it's going to rain or how much it's supposed to rain. I guess it was Saturday night? I think Saturday night we had a pretty bad storm up here. It wasn't bad, but it was a decent storm, I'll say. We had some thunder, lightning. Luckily, no like trees fell or anything. Now you're going to your computer, all right. Yeah. I can tell it's getting into spring now it was my yard the other day like just in a couple spots my yard was so tall I had to mow the other day like in some spots it was probably I don't know it was like 7-8 inches in certain spots so I already got my first mowing in when I was in Colorado, thunder, snow, and thunder, snow? Or did you mean thunderstorm or thunder, snow? What is thunder, snow? I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Thunder, snow. So it's like a thunderstorm, but it snows? I've never witnessed one of them before. Interesting. I mean, shoot, I barely get to witness snowstorms anymore. We didn't get hardly any snow this year up here. Yeah, I, I don't even know what I would do. I never even heard of that. If it was thundering and snowing, I'd be like, what the heck? I think this winter we only got, I don't know, I only had to plow twice, and we didn't get much, maybe six inches the one time, and I don't even know, I think, so what's your plan with the grass, you're cutting it here, oh, we're going to cut it, then bale it for the cows, I guess I should do a little bit of a farm tour as well. Show you guys kind of what we got going on on here. But once we get done cutting this, I'll kind of <clears throat> excuse me. I'll kind of go through here and show off what we got going on. But we got cows, so we're gonna take this grass, turn it into hay, and feed it to the cows. field over there to do but before we cut that field we'll run over to the farm and I'll give you guys a little bit of a farm tour get back on that shift oh my I, I've been on it a lot not a lot but a good bit I'll say I've been pre-recording a bunch of Tahit and Iowa videos. This year, I have two game saves right now in Tahit and Iowa, or Tahit and County, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> but anyway, let's, um, we'll do, we're going to flight mode, and we'll get rid of this HUD. This, yeah, this here is an Iowa-based map. It's Tahitian County, but it's in Iowa, pretty much where it's based off of. So here we have like the main farm entrance, 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 Jeez, why can't I talk? Anyway, it comes up here, here's our house, we got a nice um, house here, nice garage, nothing in it, barely even go in it, I just speed up time whenever I want to sleep. And then the driveway continues this way, 
Uh, I think it's PC. I'm on PC. Pretty sure it's PC only. We got a nice big green bin here. Got our Mack truck and semi trailers in here. We have a nice cold storage. Got the chopper. We got an old case 9390. We got the 4955 8110. Planner baler. Kenzie grain cart. Feed mixer. We got the Bobcat. Um, Silas blower and bagger. And then we have our anhydrous toolbar in there. It's getting worked on currently. We just had it out. Place, replacing a couple shanks. We got the uh, 4700, I think, is it? Yeah, 4700 sprayer. We have the 1088. Or 7088. Right. 7088. And then we got the 7810 in here. So that's some of the equipment. And then around here we have the 2410 plow. Just thought of an idea, Cam. Place fences around your grass field with a gauge. Pasture. Yeah, that would work, actually. That would work. We got our ag bag there, and then we have our TMR mixer over here. It's actually currently full of TMR. Can't mix anymore. And then if we come this way, we have our beef cows. I think we have like 240 beef cows right now. And then here's a bell storage shed. We got a couple bells in there. And this is the back of the cold storage building. Then if we come down here, here is our pig sty. I believe there's 840 pigs in there. And then as far as what we own, ground that we own, we obviously own all this ground here. We own that hay field there, that hay field there, and then the field right in front of us across the street, and then there's one back in behind the trees there. And then over here we own all of these fields back to the tree line, and then over here, I want to speed up my speed a little bit so we can speed this up. So then we own this field here. We own this field here. And then we own this field back here. Say, so, hey, can you give a nice close area? And drive around the farm. And then... Yeah, I got you. We can take a little drive. Where's the truck at? Ooh, now my speed's way too high. Let me bump this down a little bit. We can turn back on the HUD. And get out of flight mode. My speed's still high. Alright, so. We're back to the main shop here. And then we have lifted pickup. Oh yeah. I believe this is like the 2020 Chevy. Oh, they don't even say what it is. It's pretty dirty. Hot country Chevy Silverado. So. Here's our main farm and whatnot. Got the driveway that goes up there to the house. Uh oh. Hang on, let me turn my phone off. Give me one second. Oh, sorry, traffic. The phone is ringing. Yes, the phone is ringing. So that's where we just were mowing that hay at. And then we also have this hay field right over here. And then this field here last year was in corn. So I think we might put that into soybeans. We open up this gate. There's another field back here that was in beans that will we might keep it in beans, I don't know, but this field right here was in corn, so I think we'll probably flip that over to beans, and then back in here, we have another field, nice little field here, and then if we head up this way again, another field I think I want to pick up some more ground because with all of these animals we're running 
they take a lot of feed. I had to buy pig feed the other day and a full trailer was $210,000 for a full trailer of pig feed. So we pretty much own up to here. This here is the anhydrous plant where you get anhydrous at. We don't own that field over there, but we own all of this here pretty much back in there all the way to the tree line. I don't want to find me another setup because I want to get back on FS22 now. So we're playing this map. Yeah, this map is awesome here. I'll show you guys the PDF. So this here is kind of the area that we're in. We own 49, 50, 52, 53, 56, 10, and 11. And then all this here is just like the peripheral of the map. And yeah, same with all this. But there's some pretty big fields on this map, like up in here get some pretty big fields it's a 4x map and yeah you can see it says Iowa right there it is by uh, DR modding is the map creator of this but it's a nice map I love this map I've been playing on it since it came out and over here, if you look straight ahead there, there's a um, airport over there. So you can see like planes coming in and flying out, which is pretty cool. I guess if you wanted to, you could get like a crop duster for um, spraying and park it over there. That would be pretty cool. I don't have that mod installed right now or downloaded even, so I can't do that, but Maybe I'll get it installed because that would be pretty cool. So if we drive up this way. There's the back end of a farm. we got the pigs. My building stuff. The house. And trees and... Yeah. I like a lot of trees. So over here. It's pretty cool. There's a high school over here with the football field and whatnot. Got the. The heat and hawks football field over here you got the baseball field and then the train oh speaking of the train I was just about to tell you guys about the train the train has so many cars on it it's pretty sweet it feels more real <clears throat> feels more realistic this way and like you actually have to stop at like the stop signs and whatnot red lights because there's a collision at the red lights whenever it's red you can't go but I'm pretty sure this car or the this train has like 50 cars on it. So it's a pretty massive train. It takes quite a while if you get stuck behind of it. Anyway, we'll head back up this way. So this here is kind of going into like the main town. Is it useful? Yeah, you can like rent the train and stuff. There's like I said, the high school. We also we own this field here, so we own pretty much from this tree line the whole way back to the main road up there. Like down here is in to the town. You got a cell point there. You got your seed, lime, fertilizer, and then over in here you got a grain elevator, and back over there you got your chemical buy. Here's where there normally is a factory here, but I just put in this pig feed mixer maker thingy so there's that we got Casey's gra Casey's gas station over here I believe there's a tractor supply yeah right here is the tractor supply and then there should be something here but I don't have all the placeables that come with the map so a lot of the buildings and stuff are actually missing oh one thing I want to show you guys where is it it must be this way pretty cool feature on this map it comes already built into the map I think that's a Dairy Queen there yeah there's a Dairy Queen got another gas station here but if you come down here you have the Tahiti and Iowa Raceway so it's pretty cool you can get on here with some of your buddies and race a little bit I like to see you redo farm your ice cream.
Yeah, I like to have it a little open. I do like compacted farms as well. But for this one, since I was going to be using some bigger equipment, I wanted it to be a little bit more open. But for like my smaller, um, smaller equipment maps, I do like them to be a little bit tighter. So yeah, here's the raceway and whatnot. So it's a pretty cool feature that is built into the map already. But anyway, we need to get back up here and get our hay mowed. The hay ain't gonna mow itself. Uh, we got the bowling alley there, the dairy place. I'm sure if you guys wanted to see like a map tour, I'm sure there's plenty of map tours out on this map. How you get on the mode self oh well. I wouldn't mind doing like a multiplayer. It would be pretty cool. Ooh, don't want to hit my conveyor belt. Now the truck's dirty and it needs washed. I think the truck was dirty before, but who's looking? I'm gonna have to use that truck more than anything. Yeah, I don't use this truck too much, really. You could have it. I would say I buy you a truck, but as you can see, our bank account isn't um, looking too well. And if we take a look here, I am about seven hundred and fifty-ish thousand in debt. So yeah, I don't think I'll be able to afford a truck for you. We'll have to share it. Yeah, I don't want you to mess up my Chevy if you flip a lot of stuff. I almost missed my turn there. I didn't realize we were already at it. Let's go ahead and get this cut, and then we'll have to get it tatted up and bailed. I wonder, I should probably check and make sure that my cows actually have food. Let's see, how are they doing? Yeah, they're about halfway on food. And then the pigs, they still have plenty of food. So yeah, like I thought, we have 840 pigs and 240 cows. I actually had to sell some pigs. I don't know, it was probably like four months ago in game in order to buy them more food because I was so broke. I really don't know how I got so far in debt if I'm being honest with you guys. I do have some equipment leased as well. I got some Sour Patch Kids, the watermelon ones, they are so good. They're probably my favorite Sour Patch Kids. Hey, what's up, Galvin? How's it going? Welcome into the stream. What is your guys' favorite Sour Patch Kids? You said you love them? Yeah, they're pretty good. It's taking all that I can not to eat them right now. I don't want to be chomping in the um, mic it's going here yeah, I hear that it's going 
You don't do Sour Patch Kids? Why not, Wolves? They're pretty good. You playing FS? What map are you playing on? Stone Valley, nice. You on a console or PC? Yeah, I kind of want to take a little bit more of this. Please don't. I did try Raising Canes. Oh no, I'm looking at chat. What is Raising Canes? Never had that before. Xbox, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm currently on a PC right now. Whenever I first, everybody, whenever I like first started streaming a while ago, I was like, I'm never going to get PC, I'm never going to get PC, and then I got PC, and I was like, oh, now I see why everybody talks so good about PC, it's, oh, it's a chicken restaurant, okay, I thought it was like some type of candy or something, do you have good mods, I think I have good mods, I don't have too many mods added into this, uh, gameplay but I have a fair amount of mods a lot of like American equipment and stuff I pretty much only run American equipment on my farms I like to have nice American style farms what do you guys run do you guys run mainly like American equipment or do you kind of just go with whatever just kind of play the game or see my personally like my favorite type of equipment is probably like 80 90s and then into the 2000s I'm not really a huge fan of all the uh, newer equipment really like this 4450 I love this tractor Normally I get a 4050, but I like to have a little bit more horsepower, so that's why I went with the 4450. Uh, Galvin, no, I don't live on a farm, but my grandparents, they used to farm back. They started farming back in like the 50s. My great grandfather did, and then my great grandfather. And him farmed up until like 96 I think it was hey, hey CBW how's it going man hopefully you're doing well but yeah I mean the farm that they used to run I mean like we still own it and whatnot but we I mean we have some of the equipment and whatnot and we own like seven acres of land but we don't farm too much hardly any farming actually but this year I am going to be planting some sweet corn in what used to be the cow pasture so if you are interested in some like I guess it would be more gardening I wouldn't call it farming but go ahead and check that out I actually posted a video a video is coming out tomorrow we got some lime put on the field and did a little bit of disking and picked up Fixed up, we fixed up one of the old harrows and got it all leveled off a little bit. I don't know, Chad. What happened to the dog? Are you talking about Farm Dog Jim? I've been out of the mix so long. That's not good like your farm well I appreciate it I didn't take too long to build it I tried to do it pretty quick I don't think it turned out too bad that washed off and then See if we can't 
get this in here and get it repaired and put it away for the winter. I think we'll use the 4450 for the brakes. So we won't repair it or wash it yet. I think the newest piece of equipment that I have on this farm is probably this mower. See, everything else is pretty old. Can't get this back in here. Or something like that. The newest piece of equipment is probably either the anhydrous bar or that mower. Or maybe even a Thunder Creek trailer. See, what else do we have in here? Maybe the Deckelman. Dekel. Dekelman. Degelman. Degelman. This might be actually newer. But everything else, everything on here is pretty much all old school. 80s, 90s. You have a steering wheel for SF. Uh, I put on control wheel. It'd be nice to have a steering wheel, but I never managed to get my hands on one. Maybe one day. And it's definitely, I cannot play keyboard and mouse to save my life. I tried it one time and yeah, I couldn't do it. I actually play on an Xbox controller. I had to buy an Xbox controller to play Forza, so that's what I used to play Farm Sim now. kind of want to get a PS5 controller, but it won't work with Forza, so... I'm just not a big fan of Xbox controller. I like the PS4, PS5 controllers a lot better. What is this John Deere contraption? Um, it is supposed to be a wind rower, but it works as a tether too. Forget. Um, let me see here. I'll try and find it. I'm blind. It is the John Deere three fourteen mod. So this here is the wind row version. And then, you know, so I have that, but that's not John Deere. Um, there's something else in that pack as well. Oh, uh, we got this guy here. This here is like that one, um, wind rower. So you get this. I don't have it in here. And then we get this here, tether rake. Pretty nice. You have a steering wheel for FS. Nice. So yeah, that's what this contraption is. It's the John Deere 314. Comes with a pack of three. It works out pretty nice. It's a little bit cheaty. Yeah, the Coon Wind Rower. That's what it's like. It's pretty much that wind rower, but it's just um, John Deere painted. And it wind rows and teds it. I actually have one of those wind rowers as well. The uh, Kuhn one that wind rows and teds. Yeah, I like using the Vimeer one as well. I have it added in here. But to speed up the process of mowing all this hay figured I would go the little bit of a cheatier route is that I like that though yeah I like saving time it does work pretty good unless you get a like grass row right in the middle it won't um, t oh, tet it up and turn it into hay. 
So you gotta get like right in the middle of the roads. It's the only bad thing about this. But overall, I really like it. It's kind of like the um, the mirror with the DLC pack. It's pretty much exactly what it is, but it's just painted John Deere green. So I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the Vermeer pack now because this here was free from the... Uh, I think it was on itch.com or whatever it is itch.co whatever that mod website is so and I like the John Deere paint better than the um, Vermeer paint go green try and take that and put this all in one row but that'll be alright I'll get it cleaned up with the baler Like, see, whenever you go over, like, kind of in the middle of the road, it doesn't want to rake it up. That's the only thing that I don't like about this, but other than that, it is a great little rake. I think we might give this tractor a break and put the 4755 or is it 49? I can't remember if I have the 47 or 4955. I think it's a 47. I think we'll put that on the baler. Sometimes I'll run the 7810 on the mower, but I had it hooked up to the lime spreader, so. I'll go ahead and throw that other tractor on the bailer and then we'll use this on the wagon to come out here and pick up the bales just connect that up and then we'll take a little bit of this here where we grab that a little bit It's not pretty, it's not going to win no awards, but you know, get the job done. See if we can't clean this up just a little bit. Especially up here. Up here is a mess. I guess it's not terrible. We can get that with the bailer.
also have some corn that we need to sell off. I think we have... What is it? Was it 7,000 bushel of corn that we need to sell off? I can't really remember if it was 7,000 or... It was 4,000. I'm going to sneak this back here. Get it repaired. It don't look dirty, but... We'll hit it with the pressure washer. So it's 41% dirty, but I don't see any dirt. Why does this pressure washer not want to go back? Go ahead and drop that off right there. <clears throat> and we'll go hook this up to the wagon. The only thing I don't like about this mod is how it kind of like leans whenever you turn. That's one thing that I don't like about this mod. But I just love this tractor so much that I just kind of deal with it. So, there we go. See, I found this old hay wagon. Really like it. It fits in with this old school <clears throat> vibe that we got going on on the farm. Other than like the sheds and garage, they're a lot modern. I guess this cold storage isn't too modern, but the main shop definitely is. Oh, we do have a 49. I thought it was a 47. We're gonna go ahead and just drop this feed mixer out here and we'll hook up to the baler hopefully we can squeeze it out of here I kind of have my equipment scattered everywhere because it's harvest so I just got done with harvest I wanted to get this hay bale before we got everything put away. Oh no, that's not good. Luckily where I live, we don't really get too many. Oh my guys, I forgot all about this field. Hey Pleasant View Farms, how's it going? I forgot all about um, the wind row in that field. Um... Okay, where's the 8110s back down the planter? We'll just take this. We'll take this. This is a little overkill, but we'll put this onto the rake and get these other two fields raked up. How are you doing, Chad? I don't know if you didn't hear me or not. I asked how you were doing. Hopefully you're doing well. getting a little ahead of myself. I'm ready to get these hay bailed up and forgot all about this field. The other one. I like that this uh, windrow tether goes about 15 miles per hour so get it knocked out pretty quickly. If I can get both of these rows on our right side here. Oh yeah. Now yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned. I have a IRL video coming out tomorrow. With a little bit of spring field work going on. We spread a little bit of lime. I had the one farmer back the road. He came down and put some chicken manure on my field for me. As well as rototilling, discin, and 
We harrowed it as well. I think there will be a video coming out here soon. How do you like American farming? I see the thing is like mobile games. I can't really get into them too much. I have American farming. I played it. I made a video on it. If you guys saw that, I don't know if you did or not, but I mean it's all right. It's an awesome game. Like for a mobile game, it's crazy. If it was on PC, I would play it every day. But since it's on like mobile, I just can't really get into mobile games like that. Like I'll play them for a while and then just kind of get bored of them. But for a mobile game, I think it's awesome. There's like so much detail into it. It's a really cool game. I really wish that it was like for PC or console or something because I could really get into it then. But I just play a mobile game for like a week, two weeks, and then I'm kind of done with it. So I haven't actually played American Farming in quite a while. I was thinking about playing it the other day, but I just never got around to it. But overall, it's a 10 out of 10 game. If you guys don't have American Farming yet, I definitely recommend checking it out. You do have to pay for it, but in my opinion, it's worth the price that it cost. What do you think, Wolves? Have you played it? I should have took both these rows. Oh my. I would definitely recommend playing it. Too broke. Uh, well, luckily, I got my money from YouTube, and that's why I bought it. And the video I made, it um, paid pretty good, so I made my money back and then some from American Farming. I think the video I posted. I showed like a glitch on how to get unlimited corn, but I'm pretty sure if you have the new update now, it doesn't work. But it got like 20,000 views on it, so it paid for me to get the game. Whatever we can uh, squeeze this in from this side. I don't know, since we got the dunes, it might be cutting it. Ooh. Showing that 66 cents. Oh my. Well, that's not good. I guess now we gotta wash it again and repair it again. Jeez. Yeah, 42% dirty. And it's not even dirty. I don't get it. I guess it's something with the mod or something. I don't know. Can't even repair it. Good. I don't want to spend any more money than what I have to. Go ahead and drop that off there. And I guess we will have to line these hay fields. I will just hook back up to that for now. Okay. Let's go back. Hop in the baler. And get back to bailing. Yeah, the other day whenever we ran that harrow across the field, it dug up so many more rocks. So, gonna have to get back out there and pick some more rocks. But, like I said, it rained yesterday, it rained today, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. The field is just nothing but mud right now. So hopefully, like, next week I can get out, get some rocks picked, maybe get a video recorded, and then I'm not sure exactly when we're going to plant. I also have some triple ten fertilizer I want to put down before we plant. I don't know how much fertilizer I should put on. Yeah, with it being dark and a tornado, that's scary. Uh, I'm glad, like, the area that I live in, we never get tornadoes up here. I think we had one tornado, and that was, like, 
at least 10, 12 years ago. But it didn't really do anything. It wasn't like a bad one. And that's the only tornado I ever witnessed. But it wasn't even that bad. <clears throat> But hopefully, you stay safe. The other day I had the loader out in the field and dug up a couple of them big rocks that were sticking up. Some of them I couldn't get out, but there's one that I missed, so I want to get that dug out as well before I get planning. But hopefully it stops raining long enough for me to actually do that. So just tornadoes at night, you can't see unless lightning strikes, yeah. Hopefully you stay safe. I'm glad that I'm in an area where we don't really get them. It's thunder now. We had some thunder the other day. It was pretty pretty bad thunder and a lot of lightning but it wasn't too bad we didn't have any like trees fall in my area or anything like that oh uh, wish you was live this morning I gotta get to work oh all right wolves <clears throat> Well, like I said, I'm going to try and get some more streams out for you guys. So hopefully I'll catch you again soon. You stay safe and have a good day at work. That's not too bad. I don't know what time I started streaming. Oh, you ain't going nowhere? I thought you said that you had to go to work. Maybe I misread that. chat and I hit a tree. Yeah, I work four hours at work sadly. I'm switching jobs soon though. Yeah, four hours, that don't cut it. Yeah, I must have. Okay, I'm going to go on mute real quick and take a drink because my water bottle makes some weird noises whenever I drink. Alright. 10 to 12 hours as a loader in the sun. Well, that pays a lot better than four hours, I guarantee that. I don't know if I'd want that job or not, but... Uh, <clears throat> Waters, they make pretty good money, though. I could never be a welder. I am terrible at it. I got a welder this summer, and let's just say it's a big learning curve. That's where you're going soon. Nice. I 
I don't mind working out in the sun, but I don't know if I'm gonna be a welder out in the sun. What um what job are you getting, if you don't mind me asking? Obviously a welder job, but what will you be welding? Out of them underwater welders, they make a lot of money. But I'm not a big fan of water. Industrial construction building is what I'm going to try to apply for. Nice. Sounds like a nice job. Two hundred K a year, yeah. I was thinking that you'd probably make some pretty good money. Sounds like a expensive job. Or a good paying job, I should say. Maybe then you won't have um sixty cents in your bank account. so much even my banker's gonna call me asking how I have over <laughs> yeah. yeah my banker would probably do the same I'm missing a little bit Get these little bits and pieces cleaned up here. Charging drive is almost to the running point. I got an internal. Oh, nice. What type of truck do you got? Oh, four around 1500. Hmm. Not a bad truck. I'm more of a Chevy guy, but Rams aren't bad. All I have to do is replace the bed. Yeah, that'd be nice. Alright. My pap, he actually just got a new truck. He got a 2011 F350. Or F250, not a 350. It's a pretty nice truck. I'm not a big fan of, like, the Ford front grills. My, like, dream truck would be a 2017 Chevy Silverado Duramax. Actually, I'd rather have a Duramax. 
I like a 2017 Duramax. Just a lot. I like the front end, like the Chevy front ends, a lot better than the um, Ford front ends. some loud noise outside. What color is it painted? Do you guys get like a lot of rust in your area? Because I know up here the rust is bad. That's your dog. I hope it's not that loud that I hear it all the way at my house. Medium baby blue, nice. Yeah, my pap, he had a 04 F250, and it was so rusted that it wouldn't pass inspection. You know, he lived in the woods. I don't live in the woods. I live in the country. A lot of farm fields. No woods, really. There's some woods, but not right in my general area. Sticks. Yeah, I bet it would be peaceful living in the woods. I know my neighbors get on my nerves sometimes. up and put them in the mixer. Actually, I don't even know if we can fit any in the mixer. Can't remember how full the mixer is. I know it's full of silage is full and TMR is full. We probably should get some out and feed it to the cows so that we can keep mixing some. The only issue is, oh, yeah, no, you definitely need to get yourself a four-wheel drive. Especially if you're up in the woods, you gotta have a four-wheel drive. with this tractor. I might as well get it washed and then I might as well refuel it, repair it, and get it put away. We probably won't use it anymore this year. We definitely won't need the bail anymore. Repair, repair. It's pretty much full on fueling, but I'm gonna head back here and get a little bit more.
Thankfully, if not, you might get stuck. I think what I'm going to do is put that hay wagon in first. So I'm just going to sit that in front of the 8110 for now. I kind of want to... You know, I want to pull out this case and kind of get it out of the way because this still not belong here. I just put it in for the time being. Probably move this over to the main shop. So I don't think we're gonna do any more tillage until the springtime before planting. Go around and hit all the fields. Cause everything's limed except for the hay fields, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna do too much of that. So hit all the fields in the spring. I thought that was a tractor starting with the controller buttons and stuff. What do you mean by that? You can hear the controller buttons? Gotcha. There's a hay bale up here. I don't know if you missed it. Fields ready to be limed and sprayed one last time. Hopefully, we can fit all of these bales in this one trip. I don't think we'll be able to fit all of them, but at least the ones down here, hopefully. I hate to have to run the whole way back out here again for a couple bales. Looking like we might be able to, I think. All right. Let's get these ones up here from the field. Yes, this is an auto loader, so it makes it handy. Sometimes I use a skid steer to load up the wagons, but on this playthrough, I just went for an auto loader to speed up the process. On my other Tahitian map that I'm playing on, I have just um, pallet forks that I use to load up the bales. So on this one, I want it to be a little bit easier. Went with the auto load. But this wagon, you can get it either way. You can get it to auto load or not. Me as a person who plays FS. Where's my old tractor with the front loader? And sometimes I play realistic, sometimes I don't. just depends on my mood. I have some maps that I play like super realistic on and then other ones where I just kind of play semi realistic and then other ones where I play completely unrealistic. Oops, clicking the wrong buttons.
Yeah, I was debating whether or not to record a Tahitian Iowa map or Tahitian County video tonight or to get on here and do a stream. I decided I should probably do a stream because I haven't done one in a while. I guess I'll drop them off there for the time being. We'll pull this in. Wagon should be fine. I'm not worried about washing it off before putting it away. I'll tuck this in here for now. And we'll put the baler back in front of it. refueled because we're getting low we'll get it washed and repaired and it'll be ready for winter I don't know is it just me or is this like the most beautiful tractor If I had the use for one in real life, I'd definitely buy one. But currently, I don't have really anything to use it for. Maybe one day. I'd not mind having one of them. I'd probably go with the 4050. I mean, the 4450 isn't bad, but. I mean, they're pretty much the same. They're the exact same, just a horsepower difference. I like the 4050. What other ones is there? You got the 4250, 4055, 4255, and the 4050, and the 4455. But I like the 4050 the best. Even though they're the same, um, same exact model, I just like the 4050 better. The one farmer back the road, he actually has a 4050. Beautiful tractor. Alright, now let's see, where is my skid sticker? Hooked up to it. Um, I'm gonna put. I want to put the tillage equipment back in that corner. So what I'll do? Put the baler over here in front of the wagon. So, that's the loader for the 7810. I don't want to move that. So now we'll just put this here. I have the 8110 hooked up to the planner because the planner likes to shift around a little bit. And it seems not to whenever it's hooked to the tractor. So, I've been just kind of leaving that hooked up until it's time to get put on the green cart to run the 8110 on the green cart I guess I probably could run that for the 955 on the green cart though but it doesn't get used for much I don't use it too much I need to get that fuel trailer washed and put away I just I should do that while I have this attachment on I don't know exactly where I want to put it at yet, but I guess we'll figure that out. I actually just squeeze it right in here. I'm going to do it 
I think I'm going to take it and put it right... Actually, I could put it back down in that little hole back there, but I don't know if I can fit it in here or not. Maybe if I move this chair, kind of squeeze it back in here in this corner so it's out of the way. Let's move this chair in there. I was thinking about putting it like right here. But Squeeze it back here so it's out of the way. I really only need it for harvest because the harvest always needs to run out of fuel on me. Can't get it around that turn. I just ooh, that's the wrong way. We'll just tuck it back in here for now. Get it back out of the way. Shouldn't need it till harvest time anyway, so it'll be fine back there. There and grab our little cheaty bell pepper upper. actually check this real quick so what do we got going on our feed mill is out of soybeans I do have some soybeans maybe we'll run some down there let's go ahead and deactivate that as far as this goes where we are on this one we are full on that full on TMR but we still have room for hay and I still have a bunch of chaff in there Plus, I have a bunch of silage over in my ag bag, so we, I think we have plenty of hay feed, or cow feed. Not hay feed, what is hay feed? All I've been doing this whole hour and a half stream is thinking about hay. I don't know. This little bell spoke looks pretty darn good. If you want to play semi-realistic, where you actually have to like load your bales and whatnot, but you don't want to have to fight with trying to get them all lined up perfectly, this thing looks pretty good. thinking about it. Pretty sure there's three bales in here. Oh, there we go. It's kind of hard to even get any bells in there whenever this mixer holds so many meters of hay. <coughs> it's hard to get any bells stockpiled up. I need to get this barn or shed. This would be like a hay barn. 
for the pain. Just for the look of it, but I just put on my hand here. We do need that 49.55 to feed the cows. Unless we take the 44.50, which I guess we could. We'll take this because we're right here. So to run over there. This thing takes a good while to fill up because I edited it to hold. I have one of them that's very unrealistic that holds 300,000 liters and one that holds 150,000 and then one of them that is just standard. Oh, that's not where it needs to be. I need a little bit of a smaller mixing wagon that will actually fit underneath this conveyor. That fills up. Let's go and run a load of soybeans down to our feed mill. I think we're going to be able to fit in there because of the feed wagon. So we'll just back her in here. Oh, and we need a lime. I keep forgetting that we need to do that. We need to get that lime put on our hay fields and get them sprayed. Let's go for soybeans, and I want, yeah, now I forget how many is in here, I want 20, we'll say 23,000 liters of soybeans, I want to say what that is in bushels, so 23,000, and set that, we need 652 bushels. Try to empty that out. We'll take six fifty two. Or as close as we can get to it. And then the rest. Okay, that's pretty close. The rest of what we have in storage we will be selling. Because we are about to have close to thirty thousand dollars come out once we get into the next month and we only have four thousand in the account well, that's gonna put us pretty negative but we can't really sell corn or soybeans till I think it's like June or April when the price is right
go. Just notice that this uh, grass over here is not planted. Let's touch that up. gonna wait for that truck and then I was like well then he's gonna drive really slow and I was like no I should probably just wait for him I was thinking about pulling out in front of him though but by the time we actually got out on the road he's already been way up there so I guess it's a good thing for me to figure out how slow this truck was to get up to speed Caught him though. If we go in the main entrance, we probably definitely would have caught up to him. But we're gonna go in the back entrance here, so I have to wait at that red light. It takes forever to change. I actually, might just sit this. Well, yeah, we'll just park this right over here for now. Get out of the way. go ahead and run this feed down to the cows and I think we'll speed up time because we got oh no we can't we gotta lime our field I keep forgetting about that go ahead and give them some feed don't want them passing away on us because I do have the realistic animal loss mod on, so I gotta make sure I feed them. I have a decent amount of slurry in there too, but I don't have enough money to get a slurry spreader to spread any. Let's check uh, prices. So yeah, oh, we almost have 8,000 liters, or 8,000 bushels of corn, but price isn't gonna be good until about June. Ugh. We might have to take out a little bit of a loan in order to buy seed to even plant. So I hate to sell it for less than what it's worth. But again, I'd hate to take out even more of a loan as well. How much are them cows worth? Oh, 18,000 a PC. Hmm, I wouldn't mind selling off these cows. You get a little bit of extra cash. And then just buying some babies, actually. That's what I think I might do, just to get a little bit of money in our account. I think we're going to sell off these cows and get younger ones. I guess i got to open this and then walk up here. I think I have to open that to get to the trigger. So what... Ooh, see, that's not bad. Let's go ahead... Do I want to sell them all? Yeah, let's go ahead and sell all of them, and then we will buy some more Angus. I think what we, got? we can hold 500, so let's just go. See, I don't want them to breed because they're boy cows, so they're not supposed to really breed. I don't know if they do breed or not, but it was saying reproduction in a couple, like 10% or something. I forget what it did say, so... We're just going to go ahead and buy 500 of these cows so that there's no chance of reproduction because that would just be weird if boy cows were reproducing. So, 
we'll just take the money that we got from selling those cows put it back into 500 of these cows these baby cows and then go from there we still have a decent chunk of money left over to buy seed and probably pay off a little bit of debt I'm not gonna worry about getting a sprayer or spreader to spread any of that slurry this year I think we'll do that next year or maybe I don't know we'll see what happens There we go. We'll buy 500 cows for $175,000. Shut this gate and get that shut. All right, now we have a little bit of money. Now we can buy some seed and whatnot. I might actually hold off on repaying the loan because I'm sure that this 250,000 is going to go pretty quickly. For the time being, actually, I want to get that 2410 put away. Let's just get this put over here. I'm done with the plow, I think. I don't think I got anything else to plow. So we'll kind of get that tucked back in there. And then we'll go lime our fields and spray our fields, and then jump forward a little bit I'm sure most of this money that we have by the time we get to April is going to be pretty much gone but I think it's close to 25 thirty thousand a month we got four five six months or so yeah, so we're pretty much going to be broke again by the time April comes around Throw that back in there. I'll probably go ahead and throw this and hydra some draw bar back in there as well. Because we're done with it for this year. I can get some of this equipment put away and then we can put them semi-trailers in the main shop there. time being maybe even in cold storage Put that there hopefully that itch isn't going into it kind of is. I'm going to pull that forward a little bit because I don't want it to slide stuff around maybe. I don't know if it will or not. Right there. Okay. Now that that's taken care of. I'm going to throw this back in here. Hop in the lime spreader and get some lime spread and spray. Should have plenty of lime to do what we need to do. Those grass fields shouldn't take too much.
this phone. I think we have like close to 10 acres of hay field. Which isn't too much. I mean it's plenty for the cows we were running. But now we kind of got double what we used to have. So I don't know. We might need to pick up another hay field or... So, I don't know if we'll have enough or not. I guess we'll find out. I was going to mow that little area back there behind the main shop, but I didn't get around to it. I kind of forgot all about that. Like right back behind the main shop there where that ag bag is, I was planning on cutting that. I wasn't going to make it into a field or anything, I was just going to mow it. But I think right now we have enough hay, so we won't worry about it. Where are we going? We're going the wrong way. Oh no. These duels are tight trying to make it through here. Maybe a little bit bigger of a gate there. Think about knocking down some of these trees and extending this hay field out to a little bit closer to them train tracks, but I never really got around to that yet. Maybe one of these days I'll do it, I don't know. Give me a little bit more hay ground, but then we got that coming down from the tower there, so it's not going to really gain me too much more hay ground by doing that. Maybe tomorrow, like, morning, Eastern time, probably 9, 10 o'clock, maybe earlier, I'll do a stream. I'm not really sure what time it's going to rain tomorrow, but I know it's supposed to rain, so don't really have much I can do tomorrow, so I might jump on here and do a stream. <clears throat> we'll see. But I want to try and get at least one stream, maybe two streams out a week. Try my best to. But I think what we're going to do <clears throat> is go ahead, spray these hay fields. And then we might go ahead and wrap up this stream. Because I don't think I want to get into any tillage work tonight. I might save that for next time. 
definitely not going to be able to get into planning, knowing that hay took a lot longer than what I expected it to. Some of these mud, you have, have to have it in the perfect spot for it to actually wash it. Get this sprayed down. Shed. I think we're done with this for this year. We won't need it again until the next pay cut. I tuck this. Hmm, I forgot that we had that there. I was going to put that in front of the grain cart, but I guess we'll put it in front of the belly. in here for now. Oops. We'll hook this up to this and keep it right here. Alright, let's go get in the 4700. Get some nitrogen put down. put that much down on this hay. I don't think. I could be wrong, but if so, that's going to take about 200 gallons. Here, so you had the video pause. Oh, my. It happens to all of us. I guess. I don't know if I ever pause the stream and didn't realize it. So we have, there's about an acre there. Yeah, we are putting about 21 gallons to an acre. I didn't think that we were going to put that much down on this hay. Wait for it back to any home's pause. I've been like way back on a stream before, but I don't know if I ever like paused it in this way far back. So, that's good. So that's 1.7 acres there. That's hay. Maybe we have less than 10 acres of hay. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Once we get down here and spray these other two fields, maybe it's only like five acres. I thought it was closer to 8, 8 to 10 acres of hay. I think I spend more time folding and unfolding the sprayer than what I actually do spraying this hay field. This here is probably a good like acre and a half, two acres here. Two and a half, two point six. Point seven. You spend more time flipping than you do driving. Oh. Yeah, this was close to like an acre, 
a little less than an acre and a half here, so we are nowhere near 10 acres of hayfield. I was way off. For some reason, maybe I did it twice. Maybe I sprayed these fields. Oh, there's a truck coming. Maybe I sprayed these fields twice and then it said 10 acres and that's why I thought we had 10 acres. Come on, Gabe. I don't want some idiot AI driver driving through my field. We gotta keep these gates closed. Yeah, there's no way that this is seven acres. This might be two acres at max. So we only have five acres of hay field. Interesting. Get to see exactly how big this field is because we're exactly at three acres when we started at 3.4 if you guys don't know where i'm looking i'm looking down by the speedometer instead of the hour meter there i have it on an acre meter so we can see how many acres we're farming i think in total we're close to 150 acres of tillable ground that we have of an acre and a half. Yeah, this will probably be just about five acres. Probably four point nine. Maybe five. Can we get to five? Uh, no, nope, we can't get to five. We got four point nine acres of hay food. So I guess I did it twice and that's why I thought it was 10 acres and I didn't even realize I did it twice. Hmm. Well then. Maybe we should put some more ground into hay. Oh, watch out car. Finish. Game flying in behind me. Yeah, I don't know. We doubled up our cows, so we probably should double up our hay. We might run out of feed halfway through the year. There's not really any small little fields around here that we can put hay into. Let's take a look at the map here. Oh, well, now that's we can uh, start that now. Get a little bit more pig feed made. As far as little fields around here, these ones here, I'll plow them all in. It's 26, isn't? Yeah, that's kind of big. I guess we could get this. Yeah, that costs 62000 for that. I guess you get all of this ground, though. We could put this... Or we could put part of this area into hay and then farm that, but that's, like, such a small field. I don't know. That'd be more of a pain, really. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll figure something out. If we need more hay, we can find somewhere to put it in. We always do back behind of the shop here. That would probably give us another two, maybe two and a half acres. Whoa, where am I at? Uh, let's go ahead and jump ahead into the next month here. Or November 1 took about 24,000 for our loan I wonder if we could get like one of these paid off that's 37,000 87,000 which ones our highest interest is this one let's see if we can't just pay this off 37 8 5 6 37 8 5 oh that's 6 8 Five, six. We'll pay that off. And then 
see 87,000. I don't know if I want to. That, that would only leave us with 100,000. Yeah, we got a little bit of money. We sold off 250 cows for 400,000. And then we turned around and bought 500 cows for. I think it was. 175,000. So we made a little bit of profit. I did have to sell some pigs off the other day. I sold off 420 pigs in order to buy more pig feed for them because them things eat a ton of food. Um, I wanted to check crop prices. If we get this corn sold, it would be nice. I might... Yeah, I'll probably sell off them soybeans because we have enough pig food to make it through the year and that'll help get a little bit of extra money in our pockets. This the heat and... Farmer's market is a high price, but still not high enough. I like to take it down to um, FS Grow Mart or H&H &H Milling Group. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to sell that yet. We can get double what that's paying. So, we can go ahead and jump into the next month and watch our money go away. Whoa, slow down, slow down. I want to check on my cows and pigs. That's not something that's enough to pay. The first. Yeah, it is. But whenever you got 25000 coming out each month, each month for a loan payment, it really eats into it. Where are we at? We're still not at $30 beans, and we're getting close to $15 corn. Teen farmer's market actually is paying 14 So is my mixer silo and feed mill, but I don't get paid for selling there. Hmm. I don't know. We may sell off some of that corn just... I mean, we got enough money to get us through. Let's go ahead. Oh, I need to check the animals. They're good. Yeah, nineteen thousand a day, and they're taking twenty three thousand a day. So that'll be enough. Let's go ahead and get into January. See what prices are looking like now. Sunny day in January. Last year in January, all it wanted to do was snow. Okay, yeah, uh, they're still good. They're still good. I will need to get them some feed here. Let's see. Oh, okay, we're up to. $17 corn and soybean prices are still bad I think we might sell some corn what time is it oh it's almost 10 o'clock man I don't know we'll take a load of corn down I hate selling at the farmers market down here because it's kind of not realistic at all so we're just going to take one load down it's a very tight squeeze to try and get into the farmers market in this map and I don't think the farmer's market's going to buy 300 or 3,000 bushels of corn. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I don't know why they would need 3,000 bushels. Is that what this trailer holds? We're just going to take one load down there and then we're going to wrap up this stream. I'm getting tired. My back hurts from sitting in this chair. I need to get a new chair. I need to up the unload on this. It takes forever to unload. Or I guess load. The silo is taking forever to unload. The truck is taking forever to load. What are we stuck on? Well, that was weird. We were stuck on something and now we're not stuck on it. Headed to the farmer's market with 3,400 
some bushels of corn. Hopefully we don't get stopped because we are overloaded. I don't got time to wait at the red light, so I'm just gonna jump on the other side of the road here. There we go. I need to bring in, before I speed up time, I need to bring in some more pig feed. And might as well fill up the cows as well. I think that's gonna have to be next time because this here is going to be the end of it once we get this sold. I believe the farmer's market is on this right, so let's go ahead and go up here. We should be able to come in the back of it. Yeah. So that's the farmer's market right there. I'm not sure if this is the way I wanted to go. I'd rather back over this curb here, but... Yeah, it's not very handy of a cell point here, but we're going to make it work. Normally I like taking it to the grain elevator because it's more realistic, but if they're paying $17 a bushel, you know, we got to do what we got to do. There we go, nice 58000 That'll get us through two months at least, so we should have enough till we get into April. So, once we get into April, then we'll sell it to the grain elevator. But for now, we're going to hold off on selling anymore, because I don't like selling there. It don't seem very realistic to me, and they're paying $2 extra bushel, which isn't really too realistic either. The goal isn't to make as much money as possible. The goal is to kind of struggle a little bit. So anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed the stream. Like I say, I'm going to try and get back into streaming at least at least once, maybe twice a week. So, stay on the lookout. Also tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I got a new video coming up. So, it's a little real life video doing some spring filled work. So if you're interested in farming, which obviously you probably are if you're watching the stream, then you might want to check that out. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your night, evening, morning, whatever time it is for you guys, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.